Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to all my baddies and my zaddies. I'm sorry ladies, but today is all about the zaddies. We are focusing on the fellas. I am about to put you guys hip to the best, the sexiest, the most panty dropping colognes. I guess it could be for the baddies too, if you wanna get something nice for your man, you know? As you guys may have seen in my previous video that I did with my favorite perfumes, I also was interested in doing a cologne version if you guys want it and I got a surplus of messages on Twitter, on Instagram, and my comments on YouTube asking me to do this video. So I'm so excited again. I am a fragrance whore. <laughs> Honestly, I like cologne a little more than I like perfumes. Bear with me. Obviously, as I mentioned, I do not have my own you know, cologne collection, so I had to work with what I have. Shout out to my girl Kim at Saks. If you live in Michigan and you shop in the Troy area at Somerset Mall, go to Saks, ask for Kim. She's going to hook you up and tell her I sent you. If you tell her that Zoe sent you, she's gonna look out period but she made sure that i had everything that i needed here to provide you guys a great video even without having my own cologne collection so let's get started just like in my last video i'm gonna go in order from the most inexpensive to the most expensive um i want to be able to make sure that you can smell good despite your budget and yeah let's just get to it <laughs> so as you see i have an array of sample little swatch sheets <laughs> So this is how I'm going to be smelling them to reference them as I'm talking to you about them. The first scent that I want to introduce you guys to, which a lot of people probably already know of, is Versace Eros. I think that this is a perfect scent for people who want to smell nice, you know, want to be a little bit of a label whore, but don't want to break the bank. Mm. It's very sweet. It is very sweet compared to a lot of other colognes, but it's not. Like, it's still very, very masculine. I love this one. I used to... I used to like this one when I was in college, when I was first really like learning how, how much I loved colognes and what kind of colognes I liked. This used to be one of my favorites. A 3.4 ounce bottle of this retails for $88, which is a great deal. I think anything under $100 for a good cologne or perfume is a bargain. Its notes are mint leaf, orange blossom, and, and um, vanilla Madagascar. Yeah, that's a great scent, so go ahead and get you some Versace arrows if you want to, you know, keep it cute, but you don't want to spend too much. So the next scent that I'm going to talk about is the only one that I do not have any swatches of, but it is the Eau de Toilettes that are made by Prada. Prada has some amazing colognes. All of theirs are very sporty, very fresh, clean, and I love the way that it smells on men. So my two favorites by Prada are the original, which is the Prada Luna Rosa, which a 3.4 ounce bottle of that one, I believe is $94. Its notes are orange essence, lavender absolute, clary sage, I think that's how you say it, spearmint, ambroxan. It's got a lot of stuff in it. It's like a long list of notes, but it's definitely very sporty, very fresh, a perfect scent. Also, there is the Prada Sport. That is my personal favorite. I actually prefer that one over the original. It is the same price. It's also $94. It is also an Eau de Toilette, and that is the price for a 3.4 ounce, 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. And in the Sport, it's got lavender, tonka beans, um, juniper berries, ginger, and vanilla. It's a great scent, so get you some. That's that's like the perfect everyday scent, like when you just want to throw something on real quick, but you don't want to pull out your, you know, your top notch because you just, you know, going to work or, well, I mean, for work, you want to smell nice. I'd say like, you know, you're doing something outside. It's your day off. It's your day off. That's what you're wearing on your day off. <laughs> so next up, we have basically the male version of the Valentino Born in Roma, which was the pink bottle that I had in my, um, women's fragrance collection. This is a scent that I would say is perfect for like going clubbing. I wouldn't necessarily, it wouldn't be my top pick for like date night, but it definitely is enough to get some heads turning and ask people like having women gravitate to you, people asking what it is. It's a really, really nice fragrance. Mm, this smells delish. This one has a lot of like top, heart, and base notes. So I'm just going to read it off of my computadora because I probably won't remember all of those. <laughs> so the top notes are Violet Leaf Absolute, Ginger Essence, and Cedric Essence? Question mark. The heart notes are Sage Essence, Lavender Essence, and Salty Accord. 
the base notes are vetiver essence, guyanqua essence. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, I'm halfway butchering the names. So that is a great deal for some amazing cologne. It is $95 for the 3.4 fluid ounce. Okay, that was fun and all, but now we get to the really exciting part. This next set is one of my personal favorite collections. And I feel like this is someone everyone already knows of or should know of. As I mentioned in the perfume video, I said how like Flower Bomb and like Baccarat are like staple pieces and every woman should have them. This is that for men. If you don't have this, you're not real in the cologne game, period. It is, of course, drum roll. <laughs> Dior Sauvage. Ah, yes. So I'm sorry I keep referencing this last video, but in my last video, I talked about the difference between the toilettes, the Ode Parfums, and the Parfums, and how it can be one scent in all three of those. This is the perfect example. This here, my girl Kim again hooked me up. So this has all three of the Dior Sauvages. There are three different ones. There's the toilette, there is the Eau de Parfum, and then this is the Parfum. And it just gets stronger and stronger in the gradient effect. She also gave me this cute little mini size Dior Sauvage. This one is the Eau de Parfum. Isn't that freaking adorbs? I just, I cannot. So cute. So I'm actually gonna leave that one out of the box so I can smell it in a bit. And then I have this Dior bag that I keep all of my samples in. There you go, I open it like that and then I keep all my samples here. I got a couple little mini bottles here. This is the door by Dior. But I have an Eau de Toilette sample of Sauvage. So I'm going to spray this one first into the air. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this side is a penny jumper. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It is so fresh, clean masculine oh my gosh like this smells like a man who is very well kept a man who takes care of himself is has great hygiene this is like that man like when you smell this this could be somebody who stinks six days out the week but when you put this on it's gonna smell like all seven of them days you smelt immaculate Whew. Boy, that is, oh, that is so good. This one here is the Eau de Parfum. This is actually my personal favorite out of the three. <sighs> also, I let you guys know that toilets are the cheapest, perfumes are the most expensive. So a 3.4 fluid ounce of the Dior Sauvage Toilette is $95. Its keynotes are bergamot, amberwood, and pepper. Great set. Next, we have the Eau de Parfum slightly more expensive. This one is going to be 120 for the same size bottle as that Dior Sauvage Toilette. It smells so good. The Eau de Parfum is bergamot, vanilla, and nutmeg. So to me, this one is slightly sweeter than the other two, um, than the Toilette and the Eau de Parfum, I mean, and the Parfum. This is the Eau de Parfum in the middle. Sorry to confuse y'all. <laughs> so um, this one is slightly sweeter, but this is my personal favorite. It, it just, Again, the balance, the, the sweetness, the sexiness, the manliness, the, you know, I just wanna, whew, you just wanna eat them up when you have the fun. <laughs> Don't say I never touch them nothing. And last but not least, we have the Parfum. This is the most intense of the three. It's the strongest. And then I'm also gonna read to you, mm, yeah, it smells really good, but it's just like a very strong cologne. This is one that's gonna wear all day. It is. They, they do smell different and they smell very, they smell the same, but they smell different at the same time. It's like fraternal twins. <laughs> so for the toilette, it's described as crisp and raw. The Eau de Parfum is sensual and mysterious. That's the one that's my favorite. And the last one, which is the Parfum, is smoldering and fierce. For a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle of the Parfum is 150. So it goes 95, 120, 150 for all the same size bottles. So I hope that kind of helps put it into perspective for you how the gradient scale works from toilet to Parfum, the intensity and how it really can be like totally different, but still the same at the same time. So next we have a very classic men's scent. This is Blue de Chanel. It is 
It smells so good. It has that magnetic top that I told you guys I love. Mm. This is really like a classic man, businessman. Oh, it smells so clean. This is a warm woody fragrance. Its keynotes are sandalwood, cedar, citrus accord, and lambdenum. Lambdenum? I don't really know how you say that. But oh, this is a this is definitely one that draws attention. This is one of those that like when you smell somebody wearing this, you're like, sir, what is that? It's so good. It smells so freaking good. This one is 125 for a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle, which I think this size is, yes, this is 3.4 fluid ounces, so it's 125 for this size. Great addition. I feel like every man should have this, but honestly, I'm still gonna choose Dior Sauvage over this, sorry. It's still, it's still great though. It's definitely like a close second for my mid-range priced perfumes. Colognes. I mean, they're all perfumes. Colognes, tomato, tomato. So this next one has been working its way up my chart. I love this scent. It's probably my favorite. Well, it's definitely one of my favorites. At the end, I'll tell you my top four or five favorites. And I have more favorites in colognes than I do in perfumes. Like I have a lot of them that I like, a lot of them that, you know, I wear and stuff like that, but I got a, you know, a few faves, but I have way more faves in colognes because I just love them so much. Oh. This right here, <laughs> this is called Shea and it is by Bond Number no. 9. It's like probably the only Bond Number no. 9 that I like. I have smelled all of them. They're okay. Honestly, I think they're a little overrated, but this one, this one, right here, the Shea, period. Like, I let my mom smell this one and she was like, oh my gosh, she was like, that is fantastic. You know, that's beautiful. It smells so clean, so fresh. I love clean smells. As y'all know, I do not play. I love to smell like a clean person. You should be clean. Why would you not want to smell clean? For real. But this one is like, again, about what I said about, I think I said that about Dior Sauvage, but it being a scent that, that just smells like you keep up with yourself, this is what a man smells like. A man who goes and get a manicure and a pedicure and knows that that does not jeopardize his masculinity. He is comfortable and has masculinity, but he knows how to keep up with himself. That is what he smells like. Mm, mm, mm. So clean. Oh, Jesus. It just makes you want to just want to eat you up, literally. So I have my computadora again. Um, I'm going to read you how they describe it um, for Shea Bond. Uh, a fragrance named after a street that's home turf for New York's wealthiest merchants and entrepreneurs. It's cool and strong with invigorating citrus and violet essence, warmed up with a lingering base of smooth, seductive sandalwood. Masculine notes perfect for him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, so the next one is one that I recently discovered. I have kind of just recently started getting into Louis Vuitton colognes and perfumes. Um, I have smelled them in the past, but the more new ones that have come out in 2020, which this one did come out this year, if I'm not mistaken, um, I like these a lot better than some of their older ones. So this is called Meteor. That is the bottle. Um... <laughs> this one is a showstopper like it's oh god oh my goodness it's this smells so good it's very citrusy and it kind of it reminds me of it's like Blue de Chanel mixed with Sauvage but also adding a citrus component <laughs> I can't I can't it makes me want to cry but it's again it's clean it's soapy fresh and citrusy it's got a ton of um notes in this one so we have mandarin of course that's where the citrus is coming from neroli or i think that's how you say it bergamot black pepper pink pepper sichuan pepper and vetiver i love vetiver in men's colognes boy oh boy that is like that's definitely in my favorites, absolutely, hands down. When I smelled this, like, I bought somebody something else, I took it back and bought this instead. And this is like twice the price. So that's how good it was. I was like, uh-uh, <laughs> they need to have this. I, 
they need to have it. Also, like I said, Louis Vuitton, um, oh, I didn't even mention, sorry. It's $265, but you only pay that price once. If you keep your bottle, you can bring it back to Louis Vuitton, get a refill for $170, clutch. Um, it also has the same magnetic top like Blue de Chanel, signature LV on the cap, very classic, um, simplistic bottling. Oops. Next we have Creed. So this Creed is that super, the all gold bottle. It's called Millicene Imperial. I love this scent so much. It smells very, very good. It kind of is like a more toned down, softer, slightly sweeter version of Aventus, but honestly, like I do love this scent and that's why I'm mentioning it, but I would say save your money because it does not last long on the skin. I don't know why, maybe it depends on the person's body chemistry, but from what I have heard, from what other men I've talked to that have worn this, um, it just doesn't last very long on the skin. And I think it's because it's a, a softer scent. This is something I would actually wear. It, to me, is unisex. It's not necessarily unisex in terms of who it was designed for, but I would wear this, you know, other people that I have talked to at Saks, you know, behind the counter, other women have said that they will wear this, men behind the counter have said women have bought this for themselves. But yeah, it smells so good. Very soft, very clean. It is $310 for a 1.7 fluid ounce bottle, but Honestly, like I said, I, I would honestly say if you're a female, get this for yourself rather than the guy because I don't know. It doesn't really last long on the skin, but it smells wonderful. I really, really do love it. So for the Millicene Imperial, the top notes are bergamot, green mandarin, and lemon. The heart note is iris, and the base note is sandalwood, amber, and musk. Love sandalwood, love musk. And that's probably why I like this so much and probably why I would wear it myself. Last but certainly not least, you know we had to mention it. You know we did, because I already slightly hinted at it in the last one. Creed Aventus, honey. Creed Aventus, honey. Now, this is one that I feel like every man should have, but it's expensive. For a 1.7 fluid ounce, which is this size, it is $325. The 3.3 is $435, so that's the bigger bottle of it. So it's a very expensive cologne, but oh my goodness, is so bossy like you walk in the room with this everybody's gonna straighten up because the ceo is here <laughs> this oh my goodness oh my goodness i don't even know how to describe it like this is obviously one of my favorites so masculine so demanding attention demanding respect you walk you walk in with this they have to respect you they're like oh he he must have some money he must have something going for himself like he's somebody you wear this you somebody ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. so in aventus the top notes are apple blackcurrant pineapple bergamot the heart notes are juniper berries birch patchouli love patchouli jasmine and the base notes are vanilla, musk, oak moss, and ambergris. Love vanilla and musk together. I love musk. Y'all know I love musk. But that is, mm, that's my favorite. So like I said, I promise y'all I'd mention my favorites. Meteor by Louis Vuitton, this one, favorite. Creed Aventus, favorite. Dior Sauvages, I love all of them. My personal favorite is, Eau de, is the Eau de Parfum, but I love all three of them. And Shea Bond. So the Shea Bond by Bond Number no. 9, Louis Vuitton Meteor, Creed Aventus, Dior Sauvage. My absolute favorites. Like I will die on that hill, period. Those are the best, best ones. If you don't take anything from this video, those four right there, period. Now, <laughs> I am really the plug because I'm about to make sure that y'all I'm, I'm really coming through clutch for y'all right now. So the Creed Aventus, I have a dupe for it. If you love the smell of Creed Aventus, but you do not want to break the bank, I understand that paying $300 for a cologne or perfume is outrageous to some people. But guess what? You can get the exact same scent for $98. Mont Blanc Explorer. Mont Blanc Explorer smells identical. It is $98 and it smells identical. Like literally, this is the Mont Blanc, this is the Aventus. 
my nose can't really even recognize the difference. <clears throat> Honestly, the only difference I would say is Mont Blanc is slightly more peppery, a little more cologne-y. The Aventus obviously smells richer because it's $300 freaking dollars. But if you want this scent and you don't want to break the bank, or at least until you're ready to really make that big purchase, get the Mont Blanc Explorer. Don't waste your don't waste your money trying to keep up with the Joneses. <laughs> Just get Mont Blanc Explorer. I promise you. Even if you walk around the mall, go to Macy's, smell Mont Blanc. Again, if you are in Troy and you go to Somerset at Macy's, I got some hookups. Go to my girl Kiki, go to my girl Angie, tell them I sent you, they're gonna take care of you. If you go to Macy's, ask to smell Mont Blanc, then go to Saks, ask to smell Creed, and you tell me the difference. You walk around with these samples and you tell me the difference. You tell me the difference. Don't say I never taught y'all nothing, period, because I can't do clutch. <laughs> So that is all for this video. I thank you guys so much for being so supportive. All the love I got on my last video, I really was not expecting that. So I thank you guys so much for just, you know, supporting me, supporting my channel. I had a great time filming this. Please let me know whatever other type of videos you guys would like to see from me. Um, if you want any details about the hair that I have in right now, I will leave all of that information in the description box. If you want to know about this perfume stand, this is called an aroma bar. All of that information will be down below. It is shop.arrowbar on Instagram. Um, but again, everything you need will be in the description box. Every link to these colognes, everything. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!